YouTube, 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 what's good, man? It's your boy Swain, and I am back with another video, man. Welcome back to my channel, Truly Indigenous, where the unpopular opinion is very popular. Now, listen, man, I, I want to discuss this recent interview that um, Bandman Kevo did with DJ Academics. You know, he, did, he, 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 he basically told why he got his body done, why he got the male version of the BBL, which I thought was very interesting because it literally proved what I talk about all the time. And I always tell you all that money cannot compare or compete with pure sexual attraction. So what I'm going to do, man, is I'm going to play this video clip. It's not going to be long at all. And we're going to come back and we're going to dissect this topic, man. And we're going to really discuss um, this interview because it's, it's a lot we can learn from this as men. But without further ado, man, I ain't finna ramble along no more. Let's get yeah. to it. Myself. Like, I'm going to be honest. You, 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 you had a lot of money. You You've always, you always had a lot of money. Since 2009. So let me tell you. Um, I got cheated on a lot. Really? By a lot of, like, guys with better bodies. Really? Yeah. Just to be honest, I, I don't though. even care. You know what I mean? Did that nigga have a bag? You said what? So if you were a chick, you obviously... You nigga, know, your name is Batman, Kevin. You yeah. got the bag. I got the bag. Whatever, now, whatever. Now, it, didn't make, it didn't make me feel bad. But did, was, did them niggas that 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 the, your, your shorty or whoever fucked did they have the bag too? No. What? Oh hell nah. Yeah. This is so it's, it's it's like it's like um, I understand. I was just like, okay, cool. You know what I mean? Like I'm like, I got the money. I'm rich. I got, I got this. I got that. I don't give a fuck. Like shit, it's your loss. But at the same time, I'm just looking at like we guys. So you are gonna kind of look at a person like. Um, Damn, this person is really in shape. Especially if that person is like a a weightlifter like type of like. Okay, when you look at it, when you I don't know what type of women you like, but when we look at money cannot compare to pure sexual attraction. Money will never compare to pure sexual attraction. Either you pre-select or you not. And I'm not talking about pre-select because you got money. That doesn't make you pre-select. That makes you a trick. That makes you a target for gold diggers and opportunists because it is nothing genuine there with the transaction that's going on. You have a lot of guys, especially in Atlanta, who are just paymasters. They're not attractive. They're corny. They have no style, but they got a lot of money. And they got a nice car. And they got a crib. And they have, you know resources to provide they are non-desirable providers that's what we're going to call guys like that non-desirable providers and that's a lonely lifestyle to live as a man can you imagine being a man who has money and resources but women can't see you for anything past that in order for you to have a sexual relationship with these women you got to trick off you, you, you got to do the most and then, you know, you do all of these things, pay her bills, buy her a car, pay her mortgage, move her in just to get in her good blessings. And one day she leaves the house to go on a grocery store run and she sees the cashier and finds him sexually attractive. And she bends over in the parking lot and let him hit it. Maybe not that day. She may come back again and flirt with him and. Get his number or follow him on Snapchat or Instagram or, you know, just low key with it. And she just builds a rapport with this guy. And this guy doesn't have to do half the things you had to do. All he had to do was exist. And she found him sexually attractive. And he was able to hit it. And she cheated on you with a guy who was nowhere near the man you are financially. Money isn't everything. You have a lot of guys today who have this idea that if they become a so-called high value man financially, then they will be sought after by women. And I, it's so sad because we have this very misconstrued as men that just makes you a, a guy who's more available to be used. You understand what I'm saying? That's sad to have that type of transaction with a woman is lonely. A lot of those guys are angry. They're not happy. 
money doesn't make you happy, you know, it can it can it can buy you comfort to aid to your happiness. But if you aren't truly happy with yourself, doesn't matter how much money you have. That's why I tell you all money isn't everything. It's the mindset. Before you even get to that type of quality of life financially, you wanna you wanna be put up on game here first. I told you all the red pill is a philosophy. It's a philosophy, it's a mindset, it's a tool that is used to be able to make life easier for you as a man because you can see past the smoking screens. And a lot of guys still can't see past the smoking screens. They think, oh, I got money, I got a nice car, I got a blue check. You know, I'm this, I'm that. Women are going to want me. And bro, no, they're not. It's almost like when women tell you that, as a man, right? When women tell you that, I have a bachelor's degree, or I have a doctorate, or I got my own house, but she's grossly overweight. She's a three in the face. There's nothing attractive about her to you. You're not going to care about her money, bro. You're not going to care about any of those things. Women are the same way. The only thing is that women will still settle with a guy who she's not sexually attracted to. And she will definitely go behind his back and sleep around with the guys who she is sexually attracted to. Men, we don't do that. We're not going to. We may sleep with a woman that we're not sexually attracted to, but we ain't finna wife no woman and be with no woman that we are not sexually attracted to in most cases, especially if you're a guy who's, you know, well put together, you got your your, your uh, ducks in a row, man, and you're pre-select, you're not finna waste your time with that. And this, these are one of the biggest caps in society that women don't care about looks yes they do bro yes they do they don't care about looks when it comes to being provided for see that's the important factor that's not talked about when it comes to her being provided for taking care of her bills taking care of her kids finding a stepdaddy and all of those things the looks thing will come on the back burner because she cares about her security first i literally was having a conversation with a group of ladies the other day and i said would you rather have a guy? I, I, I asked this question to one of the ladies in, within the conversation. I said, would you rather have a guy who you're not sexually attracted to, who has a lot of money and can provide? Would you rather marry that guy? Or would you rather marry a guy who is very attractive, who pleases you sexually, but he's broke? She said she'd rather have the guy who she wasn't sexually attracted to because sex isn't important to her. And then one of the other girls in the conversation was like, that's Cap. Sex is important to you. You're just going to cheat on that man. And then, that, then the girl who said that she would be with the ugly guy, she just laughed. Because that's what they do in a lot of cases. They tell you that looks don't matter, but it does because she's still going to go get her rocks off with the type of dude who she's attracted to. This is why in a lot of cases, broke men can still have very attractive women because it's like women are put in this position where that 80 20 rule plays a part now, if you all aren't familiar with it i'm gonna explain it to you they have 80 percent of what they need but they're lacking that 20 percent of what they want and that 20 percent of what they're missing although they got this whole 80 percent of the puzzle at home but that 20 percent is sleeping with a guy who she's sexually attracted to she will risk all of that to get that 20% met. And women do this all the time, bro. Do not think that they don't. So for you guys who are out there tricking, you know, you pay master dudes who neglect your sex appeal, who neglect your mouthpiece, who neglect your charisma and all of those things. And you think just because you make a certain amount of money, yo, your girl is going to still cheat on you, bro. And it's going to hurt way worse because you had to go over and beyond to get this woman's attention. And all that guy had to do was exist because nothing can compete with pure sexual attraction. You have a lot of guys hiding behind these, these blue checks, these big social media followings, the car they drive, the iced out APs and goals in their mouth. And they still get 
curve at an astronomical rate. And this is still a curve, whether you believe it or not. Even if the girl agrees to go out with you on a date, but the only reason she agrees to you to go on a date is if you do or spend a certain amount of money. And even if you go on the date, she still won't sleep with you because she's not truly attracted to you. She just used you for your time and your attention and your money. They will turn you into an ATM. A lot of these guys are just walking, talking ATMs. And they're miserable. Don't let them fool you. We don't care about your AP. We don't care about your blacked out bins. <laughs> we don't care about your blue check on your account. You're still miserable, bro. You're miserable because all the transactions that you have with women are very, very conditional. Even though men and women dating is conditional anyway, but not to those extremes. A pure, natural, genuine attraction with a woman is beautiful. There's nothing better than having women who truly desire you because she's attracted to you. She's more feminine. She tolerates, um, not necessarily saying that she tolerates BS from you, but what she would tolerate from you, she would not tolerate from a guy who she's not attracted to. She'll be more easygoing and understanding with you. You know, and I think when a lot of guys get confused out here, ain't no good women out here, bro. Ain't no good women, man. I always got a trick off. But have you looked in the mirror? Because don't get it twisted. Women like attractive men. You want to know why it's so hard for you, bro? Because you have not done the self-improvement. That's why he went and got the BBL. That's why Ben Man Kevin went and got the BB. The uh, I said BBL, but the male version of the BBL pretty much is what it is. He went and got that because he knows that the, the 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 meat and the potatoes lies in the self-improvement. And he had the money to go get it cut out than to go work out. But for the, for most guys, you don't have the money to go get to get that type of stuff done to your body. So you have to improve. You have to make a gym routine priority in your life. You have to work on your skin. You have to work on your sex appeal. You have to work on your fashion. You have to work on your mouthpiece. I used to work with a guy who was handsome. He was tall, about 6'5", head full of thick, dark waves. Pretty handsome dude. He could go probably be a model and be on somebody's cover of a magazine if he really wanted to. But he had no swag. He had no type of um, charisma. He was very green. He walked with no confidence. He was a very much of a simp when it came to women. He chased women. He didn't even realize that if he just shut up and, and was stoic and held frame that women would choose him. And oftentimes, women would choose on him. But as soon as he opened his mouth, they were greatly disgusted. Because as a man, you have so many different components that makes us sexually attractive. It's not just having money, right? That's just one part of it. But you also have to actually work on your body game. You also have to work on your mouthpiece. Or you just can't have a mouthpiece and be a very handsome dude but be broke. Right? I mean, you'll, you'll still sleep with women. Definitely because I think sexual attraction is, is, a, is a very significant part when it comes to, you know, um, hooking up with women for like... One night stands and going out because it's easy to, 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 to fake it like you make it for one night or two days. You can go meet a woman and if, if she finds you sexually attractive enough, she'll sleep with you that night, especially if she's ovulating. And I tell you all that when women, this is why a lot of babies are made through one night stands because women sleep with what they really are sexually desired and attracted to or have a desire for when they're ovulating. That's the way biology designed and not a biology but yeah i guess biology designed them or the creator or the maker designed them this is facts bro um oh man it's, it's so deep the rabbit hole is so deep man you know you wonder why a lot of babies are created doing one night stands it's because women have an instinct desire to sleep with pre-select men on a um, more physical level. I'm not talking about pre-select because you have money. I mean, just a pure primal instinct to be with an attractive male. 
They love that. They want that. They desire that. And usually they don't have one night stands and have babies by unattractive men. So if you really want to know what your girl is interested in, pay attention to what she looks at when she's ovulating. That's just a game, free gym. You can use it if you want to. Pay attention to the pictures she like on Instagram when she's ovulating. If you just happen to be with her um, and y'all may be scrolling through Instagram together. I'm not saying go look through your girl's phone. But if y'all happen to be scrolling together, look and see if she what she stops at a little longer than all the other pictures. Look at what she's double tapping or or just, you know, maybe she would not double tap it if she's with you, but she may look at it a little longer than she do other photos. Right. That's what she really like. And um, as a man, it's important that we we understand that those are one of the biggest lies women will tell you that looks don't matter because they they definitely do. Women care about that. They always have cared about that. You know, um, it's just that they don't want to be looked at like hoes and um, they just hide it from you. There's been plenty of studies shown that women are attracted to men with V tapers, wide, broad shoulders, wide backs, small midsection, slim waist. That is the most ideal, attracted, I mean, um, attractive body type to women. These studies have been done plenty of times and they'll lie. We don't care about your muscles. Yes, they do. If you are a guy who's in shape and you've ever taken your shirt off anywhere, maybe at a club or at a pool party or something like that, and you know what I'm talking about, the way women flock to you is insane. It's insane, bro. You literally don't have to do anything, but but if you are a guy who is in shape, and I'm not talking about mildly in shape. I mean, you're in shape, you've got a nice body fat percentage, you're lean, um, you know, your, your, your shoulders are filled out, quad, all of them, like your body's just aesthetically pleasing and you take your shirt off, bro. The way women will throw themselves at you is insane. Mind you, these are the same women that say looks don't matter. Bam man, Kevin understood that. And if you watch the full interview, he'll tell you that looks do matter. That's why he went and got his body done. So, you know, to sum it all up. Listen, guys, as men, we have to be well-rounded. We the, the, the world doesn't care about us um, being subpar men. If you are a subpar man, life will be very, very hard for you. In fact, you'll be invisible to most women. You want to work on yourself and you want to optimize yourself to your fullest potential. Get a gym routine. Work on your fashion. Work on your hygiene. Work on your charisma. And work on your mouthpiece because all of these things are a chapter within the book. But that's it for the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, man. Until next time, peace.